Hello viewers, welcome to Kim Philik. Today's video is video number 60, which is the second episode of thermodynamics. In the second episode of thermodynamics, we'll discuss about some thermodynamic terms or the some terms which is used in thermodynamics. What are those terms? Let's see. System, surrounding, boundary, universe, macroscopic system and macroscopic properties, state and state variables, Extensive and intensive properties, state function and path function. Out of all these terms, today we will discuss about system, surrounding, boundary and universe. Now, first one, system. So, what is thermodynamic system? Let's see. See, we have taken water in a glass. So, water inside the glass is under our investigation. Let us assume that water inside the glass is our investigation, under our investigation. That means we are examining whether this water is pure or not, what is the color of this water or any other things. We are not interested about this glass and any other things at the vicinity. We are examining only this water inside the glass. So, this specific portion of this matter, the, here it is water, is known as the thermodynamic system. So, this specific portion of the matter which is under study, that is known as the thermodynamic system. Now, let's see another example. This is a pond. So, we are examining only this water of this pond. That means water of this pond is under our investigation. Say so we are examining water pollutants are present in this water, water heavy metals are present in this water, water organisms are present in this water. So only this water of this pond is our system. So you see, system may be as simple as water in a glass or it may be so complicated as the water of a pond. Now coming to surrounding. What is surroundings? Let's see. Just now we have seen that in this pond, if we consider only this water in the pond is under our investigation, then this is our system. Now, in the surrounding, you see this water body of this pond water is surrounded by all these stones, then greenery, then mud. All these things together is known as the surrounding. Now, here you see earlier example, water in a glass. Now, the water is our system. We are examining only, only the water. Then this glass, this mat, this table and all other things in the vicinity is our surroundings. And now you see this water, that means our system, separated from the surrounding, that means in all other things in the vicinity, by the wall of this glass. Then this wall of this glass is known as the boundary. So boundary separates system from the surrounding. And now, the system plus surrounding together constitute the universe in thermodynamics. Now, coming to the different types of system. System, first one is open system. Let's see. Say we have taken a hot liquid in an open vessel. Or say, you have taken hot tea in a cup. Okay. Say the temperature of this hot liquid of this hot tea is 50 degrees centigrade. Now, after some time, you'll observe that this temperature is decreasing. Why? Because this system, our system is this hot liquid or this hot tea. It is releasing heat energy to the surrounding because surrounding temperature is less. So, as it is exchanging heat energy with the surrounding, its heat energy decreases. So, its energy does not remain constant. There is some change in the energy. So, delta E is not is equal to 0. Now, if you take hot liquid in an open vessel, you will observe that some vapors are coming out. 
See from here, vapors are coming out from the hot tea. Vapors are coming to the surrounding means the matter or mass is going to the surrounding. That means this system is exchanging mass also with the surrounding. As it is exchanging mass, its mass will not remain constant slowly in this case. Slowly the mass will decrease. That means there is some change in the mass. So delta M also not is equal to 0. Such type of thermodynamic system where or which can exchange both heat energy and matter or mass with the surrounding is known as the open system. Now coming to the closed system. Now let's consider we have taken hot liquid in a closed vessel. So here also temperature of the liquid is 50 degrees centigrade. It is not insulated but covered with the lid. Then after some time you will observe that temperature is decreasing because this system or this liquid is releasing heat energy to the surrounding or it is exchanging heat energy with the surrounding. So, its heat energy does not remain constant. There is some change in the heat energy. So, delta E is not is equal to 0. Now, as it is closed, vapors are coming, but uh, once again, they get condensed at the cooler part. Cooler part in the sense, the inner wall or inner surface of this lid. So, they get condensed and they remain on the inner surface of this lid or sometimes this, this droplet of the liquid may fall on this main liquid also. That means no matter is going outside the system or the system cannot exchange matter with the surroundings. As it cannot exchange matter with the surroundings, its mass remains constant. That means there is no change in the mass or delta M is equal to zero. So closed system means which can exchange only the heat energy with the surrounding but not the matter. Now coming to this isolated system. So let's consider we have taken a hot liquid in a thermoflux that means which is insulated and it is closed. In that case for, uh, for an ideal thermoflux this temperature of the liquid remains constant throughout but uh, for we cannot make that. So, in this thermoflux, at least after 5-6 hours, you will observe that there is no change in the temperature of this liquid inside the flux. That means, this system, which is the liquid inside the flux, cannot exchange any heat energy with the surrounding. And as it is closed, no matter or no mass is coming out from the liquid to the surrounding. That means this system cannot exchange mass also with the surrounding. So, there is no change of the heat energies of the system. System here is liquid inside the flux and there is no change in the mass of the system. And such type of system which cannot exchange neither mass or the heat energy with the surrounding is known as the isolated system. So these are the three types of thermodynamic system. Open system which can exchange both mass and heat energy with the surroundings. Closed system which can exchange only the heat energy with the surrounding but not the matter. Isolated system which cannot exchange neither mass nor the matter with the surroundings. So hope you have understood.